Namaste. Now, Vivin, it's good to apply our energetic gains to physical techniques. So for today, let me share with you a simple breathing pattern which can go along well with your forward chunk. So I will be focusing on the breath, shifting energy, timing, and coordination. And the rest of the physical technique you've been practicing all along, just apply them together with this lesson. And that's beautiful because the many learnings and lessons we've gained from our teachers, and then when we combine the other ones there, the energetic side of it, it becomes so holistic and meaningful. All right, so in the downward facing dog. Exhale. Inhale, lift your heels, and that will inevitably shift the weight forward. And exhale. Don't lose that shifting body. Now, inhale, and halfway through inhalation, sit, catch the lightness of the breath, and then jump up the stand. All right, so let's repeat that from the top. Breathing in. Exhale out. Inhale. And exhale down. All right, so inhale, rise the heels, and your body will lightly shift forward. Exhale, inhale, push halfway through it, sit. While you're holding at the top, you may continue the inhalation, yeah, but don't overdo it. And land your feet down, exhale. All right, so there's an element of kumbhaka suspension of the breath but you don't want to be waiting too long because in the forward jump if you hold the kumbhaka too long your body will feel tight and rigid so you need to do that at that perfect point yeah where you feel the traction and the buoyancy you won't miss it that this lengthening breath in don't wait too long sit and then out this time let's repeat that one more time yeah. exhale Inhaling, exhaling, inhale, and exhale down. All right, so that's one type of breathing pattern. All right, second, you may finish first the inhalation, and at the top, set, kumbaka, and jump up the stand and while you're up in the air you are not breathing yeah you're holding the kumbaka but inside it's light because you've retained the lightness of the breath again don't wait too long yeah because if you wait too long the kumbaka your body will feel heavy and tight all right so let's apply that second type of breathing pattern now exhaling inhale exhale Inhale, finish the whole breath. Kumbaka. Exhale. Let's do that one more time. Mm. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhale. Inhale all the way up. Kumbaka. <laughs> Exhale. <laughs> it's actually too light because the kumbaka there is really too light because you're working more of the sensation, the lightness of the breath, yeah, and that will require you to engage some upper back strength and control. And then you can simply do that by lightly clipping and shrugging the shoulders after the ears. There are many ways actually. You can even jump up right at the very instance of your inhalation and you just continue breathing in while you're up in the air such that yeah exhale inhale lift exhale inhale and exhale <laughs> one more time yeah exhaling inhale exhale Inhale, and exhale. All right. You can even play. Yeah, You can breathe maybe 80% before you jump, or you can just breathe a quarter, and then you jump. Yeah, so 
really, yeah, when the breath, when the band is manifest, there's so limitless your ways of doing things. So depending, of course, of your nature, because some people, they're so light in the hips, yeah? Some people, they engage more the upper back strength, so just find what suits you. The principle is universal. We catch the energy, and this, this is expressed yeah, through lightness. Yeah, similarly, when you do your pranayama, right? For example, you're doing alternate nostril breathing, breathing in. You can wait until the body is slightly suspended before you do your kumbhaka. All right, and this depends on the length of your breath. Yeah, this depends on your nature. This depends on the openness uh, of your inner body. And of course, the sensitivities of your nadis. But the principle is universal. Yeah. You can apply this in all techniques to do. Even in meditation, right? So when we're sitting, although in meditation it's not as active, but we're still we're using the bandhas inside to lightly send the energy up. And in meditation, we lift up to the higher centers of the brain. Good. Thank you. Yeah. And I'll catch you in the next lesson. Yeah, enjoy your practice. See you. Namaste.